Seize the Day was a, uh, a song that came out of, um, I think it was kind of a thank you to my parents in some ways. My parents were both uh, high school teachers that worked really hard for, you know, not great money uh, to give my brother and I, you know, whatever we could to, to uh, feed our inspirations, to get into art programs or do sports or um, do whatever we needed um, to experience life at its best. And um, I think a lot of people uh, get caught up working with their heads down, uh, working either for the weekend or just to pay the bills or just to, and before you know a life's passed you by and you haven't really fully appreciated, uh, um, you know, the moments. Because life is just a bunch of moments. So you got to make the, you know, um, the collective as exciting as possible and um, appreciate it as much as possible. So for, for me, Seize the Day, uh, Carpe Diem was uh, a, a, an expression that I really try to live with and uh, that inspires me fully. So hence, Seize the Day. How did you even get started in music? Because I know you've been doing this for a long time, right? Like since you were like, what, 11? Yeah. Yeah. I wrote my first uh, song when I was 10. It, was, it wasn't even my first song. It was a, another verse uh, attached to uh, Rockin' in a Free World, Neil Young's Rockin' in a Free World. I thought it needed another verse. So I, I wrote another verse to it. I know, eh? Cocky as a kid. Ah, oh, Neil, Neil, he went, fell short on this one. Can I you remember the verse? Something about color, different colored flags. I got really Benetton. I got, I got very World Vision. You know, I was ten. I knew a lot. I was, <laughs> I had a full grasp of the world at ten years old. So, of course, I was in the position to write all about it. <laughs> but uh, no, that was my, that was my first uh, writing experience. And then, uh, you know. Got all rock and roll from there on in. And now I just thought of this. You're going to hate this question, but yeah. um, how often do you get mistaken for Sam Roberts? Hey! Whoa! Hey! Come on now. That ugly bastard? No, I like Sam a lot. Sam's, uh, you know, I, I, don't, I don't often, but people, people tend to tease more than they actually... Um, you know, mistaken. He's a good-looking man. That's not a, that's not a, that's not a, take it as a compliment.